Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you the fastest way to cut your footage in the cut page of DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now. I'm in the cut page. And basically right now I have a project with over 300 clips. What I want to do is to do a first rough cut of um, this project. So I need to select three or four seconds of each clip and select the best shot. Um, to do that, you could basically do the basic way where you select your import, your import, and then you uh, insert it right there, um, but it's not ideal because you will have to use your mouth. Uh, so the method I use is basically using uh, source tape. So over here, you can just switch the viewer to source tape. And what it does, it just put together um, a sort of mini timeline, a succession of all your clips together that you can just scroll through and um, do the same thing, but it's just quicker to use in my opinion. And uh, how we're gonna do it, we're gonna use only the keyboard. We're not gonna use the mouse at all. Basically, to move forward uh, this timeline, I'm using L. If I tap it two times, it's good twice the speed, then uh, four times the speed and eight times the speed. And that's and 16 times the speed you can go. And that's just a way to move quickly through the timeline and to save so much time rather than watching like the um, normal play time. Uh, and then you can use G to reverse. If you, you know, if you went too, too quickly into something, uh, you can use K to pause and G to go back. And same thing, you know, you G twice, twice speed, uh, three times, four speed, and so on. So that's how you move through the timeline. Then once I select something that I like, let's say right now I want her drinking. So I'm gonna go there and stop. Perfect. Then I'm just gonna hit I. I'm gonna continue. And then I'm gonna hit O. And I'm just selecting my in and my out point. When that is done, I'm just going to hit a special key that I've customized. Um, my keyboard is in Azerty, which is a French keyboard. Um, so I've just mapped it to um, a letter that is that you probably don't have if you have a quality keyboard. But it doesn't matter. Just go and uh, customize your own. Uh, and you want to customize it for insert. And right here, I'm hitting insert. And as you can see, it's just bringing it on. And then I can just move along like that. I'm continuing and I want to select, for example, this small moment. I'm hitting I, continuing a little bit, then O and bring it in. And by doing that, you go so much faster than you can skip the rest of the clip. So quickly, how to customize uh, the insert key. Uh, you go over to DaVinci Resolve up there, uh, keyboard customization. And here you want to look for insert. And as you can see, my insert is um, mapped to this key, uh, but you can map it to uh, any key that is close to uh, G, K, L, um, I, and O. So it's easier and you basically can do all your selection using only one hand, uh, which is very, very handy. You can only use one hand on your keyboard and you can do all your rough cut. So that's my way to go about it. Uh, in my opinion, is the quickest way. Uh, at least on the cut page, there is other method on the edit page. Let me know if you would like to see a video about how to do it on the edit page. I have also my version of that. Um, that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.